What's up everyone? Sorry for the long hiatus over the past several months. Forgive me. I had to go into secluded cultivation for a while. Don't worry, during that time I never stopped reading web novels. In this video, I'll be discussing my most recent web novel read. So here it is. Hope you enjoy the video. Now before we get started with the video, I'd just like to thank you guys for those who reached out to me during my hiatus and never stopped suggesting me web novels to read and review, either on our Discord server or comments on my videos. You guys are the reason I keep doing what I'm doing. Thank you so much for the motivation. To my viewers who don't already have a web novel account, sign up with my affiliate link down below, so you can continue reading on a platform that supports the authors you love to read from. Alright. You guys have waited long enough. Let's start this video. If you're new or returning viewer to my channel, welcome to Weeb Psycho TV, where we explore the world of web novels together. The web novel I'll be talking about is one that was suggested in my Discord server by Otaku Gamer. So glad I listened to him. The web novel I'm referring to is Shadow Slave by Guilty3. At the time of this recording, it has close to 300 chapters. 2.3 million views, and a 4.81 rating. Here's a general synopsis of the story. The story starts in a world that's like ours but in the near future, where a lot more animals have gone extinct and resources have become scarce, and multiple wars have been fought by countries for those resources. A few decades ago, the Nightmare Spell first appeared in the world. The planet was just starting to recover from the series of resource wars and natural disasters. The Nightmare Spell, at first, looked like a new disease that causes millions of people to go through unnatural fatigue and sleepiness. Once they slept, there was no sign of waking up. Even days later, the world began to panic. When the infected started dying in their sleep, their dead bodies turned into monsters. They called them the Nightmare Creatures. Nightmare creatures started to overwhelm nation militaries. Those that did wake up from their sleep began appearing with powers and abilities that could help defeat these new creatures and help restore order and peace. Our main character is named Sunless. People call him Sunny. He's an orphan, of course. What main character isn't these days? Sunny spent a majority of his childhood trying to survive on the streets alone, always trying to survive the next day. He didn't attend school like the other kids. The other more well-off kids would get survival training, martial training, and private tutors to help them survive in case they ever had to go through a nightmare. We meet our main character Sunny starting to feel very tired and knew he was going to experience his first nightmare. He has to take himself to a facility so when he does go to sleep, his body will be taken care of as nightmare may take days to complete. Also, if he fails to complete his nightmare trial, a nightmare creature will appear in his place in the real world and start wreaking havoc. That's why society locks people up as they go through their nightmares, just in case they fail. And someone like our main character with no backing, training, or advanced knowledge or skills most likely will. For all people who come out of their first nightmare spell, they receive one ability and one flaw. A flaw is basically a side effect of their ability basically their weakness. The more powerful the ability, the more restrictive and cumbersome the flaw is. Personally, I like this balance in the story. No person is undefeatable if they find out the person's flaw. They can use the exploit for some interesting battles and a power leveling dynamic. People who get through their first nightmare spell trial have to go through the dream realm during the solstice. The Dream Realm is a vast, ruined magic world populated by nightmare creatures. So far, there are no other people in this realm besides people coming from the real world. For people to go back to the real world, they have to go through a gateway. Depending on where the user Nightmare Spell drops, it might be harder to get there than others. Once they get back to the real world the second time, they'll be classified as Awakened. For those who just get through their first nightmare trial, they're known as Sleepers. As you read the story, you get more information about the world and the system in which the Nightmare Spell seems to be slowly explaining what the Nightmare Spell actually is, and its purpose coming to humanity. 
The author does a great job of not info dumping everything in chapters, but passively telling us about the world as the story goes on. Just so it's not overwhelming to read. The pace of the story is pretty good. The author seems to know to skip time and where to take his time in the most interesting parts. Another thing that the author does pretty well is that he doesn't give too much plot armor to our protagonist to make him OP and his adversaries irrelevant. Our main character does grow in strength, but not in a way we see in other novels. I really enjoy that the author is taking his time with the story, the character development with the main character, and the side characters. Not every story should go overpowered. The pacing and growth of the story reminds me of Chaos Air by Eve of Chaos, and if you've read any of his books, you already know how great of an author he is. The novel is a must read if you're looking for a well written, weak to strong, transmigrated anti hero. Let me know below in the comments if you've already read this web novel before, and if you liked it, or if you're about to start reading it after this video. Now, before I end this video during my secluded training, I've discovered lit RPG audiobooks on Audible and other audiobook sharing platforms. I may start doing the same thing I do for web novels now, but for audiobooks on this channel. Let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section down below. As usual, down below are my Discord server link and other social media platforms. If you feel like supporting and investing in the development of this channel, check out my Patreon down below as well. Thank you for all the support. See you next video. Welcome to the 23rd Ever After Show of Weeb Psycho TV. As usual, this is part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments. Today in the comments section, I want all of you guys who made it to the end of this video to fill the comments section with Let the Nightmares Begin. So if you enjoyed the video or want to support my channel, simply comment Let the Nightmares Begin and I'll definitely heart those comments. Because I appreciate everybody who stays till the end of my videos. Alright, see ya, till next time.